Final presenter is Anna Ulak, who comes all the way from Toronto via Berlin with yeah. a bit of Poland mixed in. Um, I'll just hand it over to you, I think. Okay, great. Um, okay. So, um, <clears throat> even after the Cold War was declared over, James Bond movies have remained a veritable co catalog of Cold War villains. Despite the re uh, retrospective compulsion, the genre has consist consistently used the language of modern architecture to visualize future built conditions. So how can the trope of the villain's lair be util utilized to imagine new architectures today? So this project is an attempt at that question by designing the next James Bond villain lair for James Bond number 23. So there it is, starting Medusa. Um, continuing from Qantas Solis, uh, James is out in the Bolivian desert at an eco hotel to capture Dominic Green, the head of uh, Green Planet. Dominic has promised a corrupt general political power in return for being the sole provider of fresh water in Bolivia, a deal which would allow him a 60% profit margin. Um, <clears throat> In the meantime, three natural disasters of un unprecedented scale occur simultaneously. Um, <clears throat> uh, a drought over the whole of Canada, a uh, cyclone ravaging the Brazilian rainforest, and methane exploding from underneath Arctic seabeds. Immediately after the announcement of the disasters, the climate engineering company Metro Systems International discloses that they have uh, created an afternoon of rain in the desert outside of Abu Dhabi in July. In absolute faith, the climate engineering is the answer to the climate uh, change challenge. Spencer Carey of Metro Systems International proclaims he'll create four weather installations over international waters facing urban centers. Um, oh, oh my god. So there they are. <laughs> Um, protests and um, petitions for geoengineering occur around the world. A G20 meeting takes place exclusively with the goal of considering geoengineering as a response to the climate um, dis debate. Convinced that it is the only way to take action to stop climate change, Spencer Carey um, secretly continues to try to persuade his employees to create yet another weather disaster. Uh, and M starts to grow suspicious and sends, and sends James to the uh, Medusa project. Um, so by becoming informed, James um, prepares to visit the Medusa Project, headquarters of Metro Systems International, located off the coast of Cape Farewell, Greenland. The Medusa Project, one of the most innovative and high-profile geoengineering projects ever created. It is the lightest weather testing enclosure in the world, built in the most ecological way um, possible. Oh, no. God. Okay, so by creating holes in the ionosphere, the pattern of the solar wind and magnetosphere are affected, which in turn changes typical patterns in various cloud formations and even uh, wave curve formations. Oh. oh, look, okay, so this thing just changes the weather, okay? It changes the weather. <laughs> It's just changing the weather. It can do it over uh, cities by just basic cloud seeding. All right, cloud seeding is a normal military technology used to, uh, typically in wars. Here's a, a section of how it might work, and it has a romantic idea that through harvesting weather and creating weather, um, that you know, climate and and you know, energy can be sustained within a building, and it can even control the own building and the whole world, and it's changing everything. Um, so there is a, a, a detail of the section of maybe how it works. It's it's modeled off a jellyfish, um, and it floats in the ocean, and um, it, the cells can open and close. So it, it's testing weather conditions inside, and it can release the conditions to the outside, and it makes various affects of weather. Uh, okay, so James arrives to the Medusa. So there he goes. And 
and uh, he manages to get Spencer Carey in the Medusa. So yeah, that's um, Daniel Craig and he's jumping <laughs> into the Medusa. Um, and then he takes he takes him to MI6. He got him, and he takes him to MI6 from the jellyfish. Okay, um, over time, this weather testing um, Metro Systems International project is uh, it continues, but people start to realize the romantic notion of homeostasis within the building is actually false. Uh, the idea that you can produce weather, harvest energy off it in a closed loop, is, is it doesn't work. And it slowly gets abandoned and just gets carried off with the ocean currents and crashes in um, Senegal and becomes a fish market. And so the critique of the project is that it's not like scientific objectivity that makes architecture and that can solve everything. It's really like a, uh, an architecture that's political agency within a city. And uh, this is a project that was just completed at Jürgenmeier Hall. It's uh, a market in the city in Seville. And although it's very alien and Strange, it's actually quite um, a, a big favorite in the city. It has a lot of political agency. People are always protesting there, protesting against why did you spend money to build it and now we're broke, but also they really love it. It is a big manifestation for the public. So this is what you know makes architecture finally, it's not trying to save the world. Yeah, so a bit about the project, it's, it's beside a cathedral in the city center of Seville, and they use these sort of gothic forms and wanted an inverted cathedral on a plaza, and you know, they really experimented with um, having a fun time with forms, I guess, and it, it sort of works, people love it, and you can walk on top and below. Thank you.